paint's in pretty good shape for its age, considering it's 25 years old. This rim is peeling here a little bit, but it can just be recoated or it can be polished since it's aluminum. Got some brand new KO2s, some new wheels. Zero rust underneath, anywhere. It's a full frame car, so you can tow up to 7,000 pounds. It's rated from the factory. Look underneath here a little bit. We just put a brand new OEM Delphi fuel pump in it. Oops, Take a look at the inside. Just put new carpet in. Dynamat, sound deadening, insulation. The previous owner replaced the headliner. It's in pretty good shape. It's got a little, little bash back there. I'll take a uh, look at that in a second. But there's a CarPlay receiver in there. It's wireless CarPlay, so you can just have your phone on your seat or your leg or whatever while you're driving. You don't have to have a wire plugged in or nothing. Interior is in pretty good shape. Um, there is a little bit of a patch job here on the seat, but I um, I was just gonna have it reupholstered, but can't really do that right now. But a dash is in amazing shape. It's got 150,000 miles on the clock. Can't really see it. 150,806 as in right now. Got a period correct steering wheel cover. <laughs> There's a back door panel, brand new carpet and brand new floor mats. There's another little, little scrape on the seat there. It's been patched. I do want a seat belt right there. The rear Vista roof is in perfect shape. No scratches or cracks. And the sunshades are in perfect shape too. The door panels on these cars are known to rattle really bad. So they have been secured with some stainless hardware so they don't rattle. It's as quiet as can be inside of this car. Almost as quiet as like a new luxury car inside. Um, so this car, you can have the tailgate open like this, just like a truck, or you can pull it open like this, and the hinges work just fine, work perfect, the lock works too. Carpet back here is in perfect shape. Uh, spare tires in here, and fully, uh, it's like a brand new spare, it's never been put on, but uh, there's the little tiny bash in the headliner. And all the interior plastic back here is good. Some brand new JBL speakers in there. I don't have them hooked up currently, but I will include the amplifier and the subwoofer I was gonna have installed. Um, these windows back here open up, work just fine. Pretty cool to have these back here, actually. Um, there is a piece of trim missing on the seat belt right there and right there. These are incredibly hard to find since there's not many of these in the junkyard. So people keep fixing them and restoring them. Um, the rear window defrost does not work. It's been, uh, the previous owner had some really gross window tint on this thing and taking it off had to, uh, messed up a couple of these uh, grid lines. So it does kind of work, but not really that well. Brand new uh, hatch struts, nice Thule roof rack. The body's in really good shape. I'll go over here, look at this side. Door panels are in really good shape. There's the other side of the seat. There's the new carpet I installed. This seat's in fantastic shape. 
This is one of the most quiet and comfortable cars I've ever driven. Like, honestly, I drive a lot of European cars. They work in a pretty high-end European shop. There's the logo. Um, a lot of guys on the Roadmaster page just take, the, take a silver Sharpie and brighten that up. Okay, all the glass is in really good shape. Um, this mirror is a little bit broken and the finish is kind of bad on it, but it's original and 25 years old. Also, the power mirrors don't work. I haven't really tried to figure out why. Original glass. The roof is in perfect condition. The roof rack is also original and fantastic. Not the basket, but the rack. The paint under here is superb. The rear wiper is missing because the rear wiper motor does not work. And it looks kind of ugly, so I just took the the wiper motor off or the arm off the vista roof does not leak which is a common problem on these cars there's just another another look inside very nice condition let me start it up for you and i'll show you the engine Warning lights come on as normal. No warning lights on the dash after you start it. The airbag light flashing is just a check and it's normal. This does come on, but it doesn't play any sound because there's no amplifier in the back, but it just needs to be hooked up. Well, while that's warming up, I'll pop open the engine bay. Take a look at that. Sorry about that. My phone connected to the uh, amplifier and didn't let me film anymore. <laughs> but here's the engine. Runs very, very well. No fluid leaks whatsoever as of right now. Just had a whole bunch of new parts installed. There's the amp wire. There is no fuse in the fuse holder, so there's nothing to worry about for the, the power wire arcing out in the back or anything. Um, the exhaust manifold on this side right here leaks a little bit. Um, it's pretty common on a lot of these small block Chevys for the valve for the uh, exhaust manifold to leak. And I was planning on putting headers on this, so I didn't really worry about it. But. Also, these front lights aren't hooked up yet. I was planning on putting a big switch panel inside, but I'm not doing that anymore. Uh, brand new, uh, brand new headlights and corner or corner marker lights. And then here's the tubular bumper that I had made. It's all unboltable, so you can just take it and unbolt it, and you can have it power coated or painted or whatever you want to do. But yeah, it runs really well. Starts up perfect every time. Never left me stranded, never really had so many problems. Actually, it did have a fuel pressure regulator go out on me one time, but it, I figured that out, it's fixed. Uh, the hood mat is a little tattered, but it's really, really hard to find a replacement one, so I just haven't bothered with it. It doesn't really hang down and touch the engine, so. But, yeah, there she is. Super fun to drive. Gets a lot of looks. And none of my friends want me to get rid of it. <laughs> but, there she is. Have a good day, guys.